Hey everybody, I wanted to try something new. I uh, figured I would start a vlog series uh, on the channel here and uh, some new content that I thought of would be applicable uh, is this M2CS that I put an order in for. Figured we'd uh, document the process of what that looks like and maybe share little things that are going on behind the scenes uh, around that and uh, share the overall experience in my attempt to grow the channel, grow the user base, uh, and create value for you viewers that are watching. So um, just this week, I was very fortunate to secure an allocation. Heck, that's a conversation in itself. So an allocation, by the way, for those that might be new to ordering a car, uh, at least in, in BMW world, allocation is a, is a slot uh, for a production. So you know, the factory kind of gives out these, these, these slots of production for different cars. Um, and uh, for the M2 CS, there was about 466 allocations here in the US that were dispersed to to the dealerships here in the US. Some got three, some got two, some got one, uh, and a handful got a whole bunch, like seven. I think it's BMW Alexandria in DC got seven or so. Anyway, I was able to secure a, uh, an allocation. I actually had three. I've been named on three different lists, and or four, maybe four different lists, uh, and, and one came through, essentially. Uh, this is out of, uh, I think, Nebraska. A Husky, Husker BMW or so. Anyway, uh, so put an order in. I'm really excited about that. Figured to go into some of the reasons why I decided to pick a, an M2 CS out of all the cars that are out there today. Uh, I'm a big BMW fan, in case you haven't told, you couldn't tell by the channel. Um, I have an E46 M3 that I think I've done a video walkthrough of. I've got an E39 M5 that I, I love. I have an F85 X5M and an E70 uh, X5M as well that uh, will be will be re uh, sent off to... to uh, my parents uh, sometime in the near future. Anyway, um, the reason why I was excited about this car, I remember when the M2 first came out, uh, my neighbors, John and William, uh, got a Long Beach blue one, and that kind of really turned me on to the LBB, because that's what the X5 is, that's the color that is. Uh, and uh, I thought it was a cool car. I th although I really wish they put a real M engine in it, meaning uh, an S-derived uh, motor, um, and, uh, and some other bits, like the interior bits, like the leather or the seat style, um, and obviously the door mirrors, that's a whole, that's a whole thing in itself. Um, and then that, that car they had was, uh, had an M performance exhaust on air, which was really loud, really cool, kind of liked it a lot in a six speed manual. Um, I, uh, I, 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 I saw, you know, as a, as a BMW enthusiast, I know BMW's playbook. They like to, you know, for their last swan song for, for their models, they kind of do special things or do interesting things for the last model year. And, uh, I told John and William that, um, uh, you know, you shouldn't buy the first model year because something cool will come along at the end. Well, here they are back in, in November of 2019, uh, BMW announced the M2 CS, and uh, it's essentially, you know, the CS, if you don't know, uh, has a number of, of, of interesting bits and, uh, and bytes that make the car more special. And more special in, in the case of the M3 or the M4 is the fact that it doesn't have an armrest. It's got a um, uh, carbon fiber door pull or, or uh, uh, cloth door pulls, which some people are kind of annoyed by, but they add some more Alcantara bits, which I'm a big fan of, and some other things. What I didn't like about the M3 and M4 CS, though, is it's DCT only. Um, and call me old-fashioned, but I, I kind of like the, the involvement of rowing my own gears. This car behind me is a six-speed. Um, my M3 that I have is SMG, uh, and actually I'm, I'm sort of mentally entertaining the idea of doing a six-speed conversion on that, but that's a story for another day. Uh, but I like the mechanical the mechanical feel of, or the involvement of, of driving a car, and I'm sure many of you can, can relate to that. So uh, I like that this car out of the gate is, is an optional six-speed manual or DCT. Um, what else do I like about it? I love the fact that it's got carbon ceramic brakes. Um, super cool. I love the fact that they're really lightweight. I don't like, you see all the car detailing products behind me? I hate cleaning wheels. Um, I love the fact that CCBs uh, generate very little to no brake dust, which is incredible to me. And they look really cool, right? I've, I've sort of uh, always lusted over big brake kits, and that's kind of one of the reasons why I've got, um, what I have, AP Racing Radicals on my E46 M3, and this car came with a set of Brembos uh, in the front. Um, and so I've got CCBs, uh, really cool, light, yellow color wheels or gold colored uh, wheels, which, which really contrast the, the Visano blue color. That's the color I picked. Um, and uh, it's got a beautiful checkered pattern, carbon fiber roof, uh, carbon fiber hood, which is kind of cool. And, um, and a number of Alcantara bits in the inside. What else do I like about it? 
Um, that's kind of really it. I don't like the exhaust portion of it, right? The bottom, the cow udders, as, as people say, but I think I might fix that. I have some plans on doing some really cool uh, dine-in stuff that I'll talk about in another video. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it, what, what called out to me was this seemed like a really special uh, instance of, of sort of, um, I don't know, the, the last of the greatest. And I know it seems like every generation people kind of cry out, you know, this is the last, you know, when the E30s were out, when the E36 came over, it was like, this is the last of the best. And the E36 came, the E46 is the same thing, this is the best of the last. Um, but, you know, I, I, I feel like this really is the, <laughs> the last. I don't like the direction of, of the new uh, two series is going. I don't like the direction of, of the new three and four series, especially from a design standpoint. Um, the kidney grills, the huge kidney grills that are, um, they, like, I, I don't want to have to, like, grow to love these sort of things. I feel like, you know, with car design, you either instantly fall in love with it or you appreciate it or you don't. Um, and lately, I feel like since, you know, these days, the early 2000s, it's just been downhill from there. Um, I don't know why I feel that way, but I feel like it's only with BMW. Other car brands, like the newer uh, Mercedes, uh, I guess the G-Class or C-Class? No, the G-Class, the wagons, they're actually pretty nice looking. The uh, X5 competitor, um, I'm not really good on the Mercedes nomenclature. BMW all day long. Um, but, you know, the, the M2 looks pretty badass. Um, and I like kind of the overall styling package they put together with the carbon fiber splitter and the diffuser and, and all those sort of bits. Um, so that's it. So um, I'm, I'm really excited about ordering the car. Put the, car, the order in. Um, it's supposed to be produced later this month or later next month in October. Um, it takes about six weeks-ish uh, for the East Coast. And if you're in California or the West Coast, it takes about eight weeks because they have to go through the Panama Canal. Um, so it should take about six weeks in doing a performance center delivery, which means they'll deliver it to Spartanburg, uh, South Carolina, which is about two and a half hours, three hours from, from where I live uh, outside of Georgia here. And um, I've never done a PCD delivery. Now, basically, that means you can pretty much order from any dealership in the country. They'll drop the car off there, and it's your responsibility to get it back to your house. Uh, in this case, because I live so close, I'll just drive it back, and, and that'll be a fun experience. Um, I was talking with my, my neighbor here who uh, might also put a, an order in for the car. We were talking about how we're going to protect the cars from a paint protection film standpoint. So we found a, a shop that is very local to the Performance Center delivery uh, location in Spartanburg. And I actually think they do, they protect their cars. So we'll meet up with those guys uh, when the time is right. But um, I'm pretty stoked. For those of you that haven't placed an order for, with a, 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 or I guess an order for a new BMW, it really, really is an incredible process. I'm very, very thankful and appreciative that I'm in a position to be able to do that. Um, but it's it's one of these experiences where, you know, the instant gratification of just going to the dealership, picking up the car and bringing it home, it, 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 it doesn't make it as satisfying. It's way more satisfying when you put your order in and you go to the damn website and you're, you're called the 800 number multiple times a day, see if the... <laughs> The production status has changed and once it goes into production it does change it changes goes from you know into production to the paint shop to the body shop to assembly to final assembly to waiting for transportation and, and so on and so forth so um it's a really really fun process and then of course there's the thing like actually like being able to collect your car whatever two or three months later um and seeing it for the first time it's really really cool and so if for those of you that are on the fence of, of ordering a car or picking one up from the dealership if you have the time, go order the car. Um, the, the weight makes it just that much more fun. If you've ordered your car before, love to hear your comments below um, on uh, on the channel here. Share your thoughts. If you got some value out of this video, please let me know. This is a, a new uh, venture for the channel here. Usually, it's, it started off as as, as guides and and some some reviews. But um, I wanted to, to kind of share more. I've got a lot of passion for the brand. I got a lot of passion for cars, and I wanted to share that with with, with the community here. So, uh, looking forward to your feedback. Please like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Give me some suggestions or comments uh, that I can do and, and create some more, more value for, uh, for the members out there. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching and uh, I'll keep you posted. I've, I've got some, some interesting um, projects related to this, this uh, yet to arrive car or help yet to even be built car that, uh, that I'll, I'll share with you. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys.